Hi there, my name is Taylor Coplin. In the last video, we went over how to use the effect engine in the MA software. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a full rig strobe and a random strobe, uh, what I would like to call the proper way. Uh, what you could do if like first starting out, you probably found that the shutter has a strobe option in there, but it's very inconsistent from fixture to fixture. So in this method, it's going to be able to make it consistent across your entire rig and make sure all of your lights are doing exactly what you want them to do. So to get started, what we're going to want to do is I am actually going to open up another screen here. And then we are going to copy our layout view over to this one just so we can see it over here. All right, so now we have that. What we'll do is we'll make a non-selective effect by right-clicking or going over here and clicking edit and then clicking on a effect pool. And we're going to hit add. And then we are going to go to dimmer. Hit confirm. What we are going to want for the full rig strobe is we are going to want a waveform of a PWM. So we'll change it from a sign to a PWM. We'll put the rate to like eight. That's a good number for me. And then we need to make sure they are all going at the same time and not going in our selection order. So we'll change our groups to one. Okay. Now what we can do is we can exit out of that, bring up our layout view again. We'll take a selection and apply it to our effect. And now it's strobing all together. And I can show you it's strobing all together if I take the rate and I slow it down to like two. And I should really be able to see. There you go. So you can change the rate to your liking. Uh, eight is typically a good number for me. Um, and this is really cool because uh, say like you had colors going on in these lights, it will actually keep it those colors. Uh, there is a, another method to, uh, you know, like if you want a white strobe specifically. Uh, I'll show you how to do that later uh, when we go over uh, making Q stacks and whatnot. Uh, so yeah, so we got this. Uh, now we can clear out of this. So we'll name this our full rig strobe. All right, cool. So we got that. And now let's make our random strobe. So what we're gonna do is again, without making a selection, we're gonna make a non-selective effect. So we're gonna click in a empty effect pool. Hit add, we're gonna go to dimmer again, confirm. And then instead of doing a PWM waveform, we're gonna actually hit random three, okay? And then again, we'll change our rates. We'll do like five. Um, and then uh, I don't think we have to do anything else. Let's check out what this looks like. So we'll take our all group, we'll apply it. And there you go. Now you have a random strobe and it will always look like this no matter what, which is really awesome. Uh, I've like before I figured out how to do this, I was using the beam and the shutter and I was like, oh yeah, put it at like, you know, 30 or something. And uh, having different fixtures in my rig, uh, none of them would be doing what I want. And it was always terrible and there was always like weird delays and whatnot. This will make it work every time. Really quickly rename this to random strobe. And don't forget to back up your show. Yeah, anyways, that is all for this video. I hope this helped you and I'll see you in the next one.